Hey guys, me like big boom here, bring you guys a new updated unturned server tutorial. Uh, like three, no, like four months ago, I posted the original uh, how to host a server on Unturned 3.0. Um, the process is still pretty much the same, though I would like to create a new one that's a bit shorter and also has some troubleshooting options for you guys. And that's what I'm going to do right now. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to set up the bare bones of the server. And then in tomorrow's video or maybe the, the day after, um, I'm going to be uploading uh, videos to get a little bit more in depth with server commands and having friends who who live elsewhere not within your network be able to join your server this video is to just start it up and get it running when the other tutorials are uploaded I will put them in the description down below and an annotation on the screen right now but to start up a server of your own the first step you need to do is to go into unturned in your steam library right click it go into properties local files and browse local files it will bring up your unturned game files from within your steam library you can also navigate to it directly by going to your hard drive steam library steam apps blah 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 up until here when you're in this folder you can right click unturned and then go into create shortcut it will just create a shortcut and if you click on it right now it'll just start up unturned just for ease of access we're going to rename this to unturned server so that way we know if we run that, it will run the server, and if we run unturned, it will obviously run unturned. You're going to right click this shortcut and go into properties, and in this target box you will see uh, the location that this shortcut leads to, which is just that unturned executable. We are going to take this whole target and enclose it in quotations. If it's done that already, you don't need to worry about that, it's just sometimes it doesn't put quotations around it, so just make sure you put quotations after the E in .exe and before the D in the drive, although yours might be a C drive or, or whatever you chose to name your drive. I have two hard drives, so this is uh, saved on the D drive. Then after the quotations, you're going to type in a hyphen, no graphics. The hyphen is to the right of the zero, by the way. After you've typed that, another space and another hyphen. Also, don't forget that there's a space between uh, the quotation and the first hyphen for no graphics. And then there's a space after the S in no graphics, another hyphen, then batch mode. Then another space, and instead of a hyphen, we're going to put a plus, and then the server type. Now there are three different server types that you can choose to set your server as. There's secure server, insecure server, and LAN server. Secure server pops up in the public server list. If anybody refreshes uh, the public server list from within unturned, your server will pop up in there, assuming you did the port forwarding and stuff like that, which is pretty complicated, but essentially people all around the world will be able to connect to your server. So if you have a friend from another house who's wanting to play games with you, you're going to need to type in secure server. The difference between a secure server and an insecure server is that VAC banned players will not be able to join a secure server and insecure server uh, VAC banned players will be able to join it. And also in a secure server, Valve anti-cheat is on and it will be detecting for hacks in your server. But other than that, secure server and insecure are the same thing. LAN server is completely different. People all around the world or your friend from another house will not be able to join you. It is only on your local area network, which is LAN. So if you have a friend over at your house playing on a computer there, uh, you would want to do LAN server. So that way it's only within your network and it pops up in the LAN server list. I get into more in-depth about this kind of stuff in the actual how to connect to a friend server video, which will probably be uploaded tomorrow. For now, just as a tutorial, I'm just going to be doing a LAN server so that way we're in and people aren't connecting to my server so we'll just type in LAN server after this with no space we're gonna do a forward slash and then the name of the folder not the name of your server just this is ease of access it can be really anything I'm just gonna do mine MLBB and this will create a folder in this servers folder uh, which contains the files for your server it's just ease of access it's just the name of the folder you can name that whatever you'd like after that you're good to go you can click the apply button and OK and then you can run that shortcut it should hopefully pop up this little command prompt looking program um, because it's a LAN server it's saying that valve anti cheat is disabled you don't really need to worry about that from here all you're gonna do is just type in shutdown now the reason why we ran it and closed it is because it now just created a folder in the servers folder called MLBB or whatever you named it in here it contains the PI map with its saved barricade structures and vehicles you can also transfer these over to uh, a single player world if you'd like but uh, once again, I'll save that for another video. Back to folders, 
we have the server folder which has all of the important stuff the admin list the blacklist and the whitelist we aren't going to worry about those ones for now we're just going to open up the commands folder and begin um, creating our server for now just the bare bone commands that you're going to need in order to make your server work are going to be these ones but also in tomorrow's video or maybe the video on Sunday I will be posting a video showing all the different commands that you can enter into here to really customize your server but for now you're just gonna to have to give it a name I'll just do MLBB LAN server this is the name that pops up in the public server list this is just so that you can easily find it below that we're gonna set the map right now in the original version of unturned there is only PEI but in the future there might be different maps or PEI may even be removed though that's doubtful um, if you're wanting to play on a specific map you enter in the name here but in this instance I'm just gonna type in PEI if you're wanting to play on a custom map that you've downloaded from the unturned workshop you would enter in the name of that custom map here below that we're gonna set the port it's best to just not ask questions and just set it to 27015. Unturned only supports certain ports. I uh, think 25444, 27015, and 27016. I'm not entirely sure on that, uh, but just to be safe, just set it as 27015 and you'll be good to go. Below that, if you'd like, you can set a password by typing in password and then typing in the password after that. We're just going to set one, two, three. If you don't want a password, then you just completely remove that whole entire line and just leave it like this. I'm gonna have a password on mine just in case. And from here, you're pretty much good to go. You can just control S and save it and then close it. Also, this is a .dat file. And sometimes if you just double click it, Windows won't recognize the file and then say that it doesn't have any programs to support it. If that happens, just right click it and go to open with and then just select notepad and then it will open up just fine. I used Notepad++, it's just a better version of Notepad, you can download it if you'd like. After you've entered in those commands, go all the way back to the unturned directory and double click on the server. You will now see that it says successfully set map to MLBB LAN server and says successfully on all of them. If there are any errors, just make sure that you typed everything in correctly and didn't misspell any commands or anything. From here, your server is running. You can now play unturned. Once you make it into the main menu, you can now connect to your server. Now if you'd like to connect to your own server, there are two ways that you can do this. One is just to go into play, servers, and refresh the local area network. You will see that it pops up here, MLBB LAN server, even though I just misspelled MLBB. <laughs> and you can click on that and connect to it. Um, if for some reason you aren't seeing it there, you can go down into this connect button and type in localhost as your IP, one word, no caps, the port that you chose to set, hopefully you set it as 27015, and then type in the password, which in this instance was 123, and then you can click the connect button. Keep in mind that if you're entering in localhost, that will only connect to a server if the server is actually running on your machine. So if you have a friend over at your house who's connected to the same network as you, but is on a different computer than the one who's hosting the server, he's gonna have to go through a different process, which I will show you in a video tomorrow. If I click connect right now, it will join me into the server, as you can see here, and we can begin playing. But anyway, that is how you set up the basics of an Unturned 3.0 server. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out.